Stanja Balisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. With yet another video about the Morse code CW, my favorite operating mode in amateur radio. I get questions every now and then, pretty often, on asking me for advice on how to learn the code, and the Morse code. And my answer is always the same, practice, practice, practice. But I have a little additional detail that I thought of uh, just because of a question I received a couple of days ago uh, and I made a comment uh, in the video and answering that question somewhat. But for me, learning the code, you need to learn to receive the code first before you worry about sending it. Because once you learn to receive it, learning to send it is quite easy. But if you learn to send, learning to receive is just about as hard as it would be if you hadn't ever even touched a key in your life. Morse code key, that is. What I would advise is use W1AW's code practice sessions. Whiskey One Alpha Whiskey operated by the American Radio Relay League, headquartered in Newington, Connecticut, and that's where all of the transmissions come from. Now, I understand that on some bands, uh, especially at certain times, some people make a habit of deliberately interfering with W1AW, which of course is a federal offense, but how are you going to track them down, you wonder? Don't worry about any of that. There may be other code practice sessions on the air besides W1AW. I don't know about them. I haven't tracked them. You can uh, even listen in on some rag chewer QSOs in CW at various speeds. But W1AW sends at certain standard speeds, I believe starting as low as five words a minute, and going as high as 35 <clears throat> or 40 words a minute. The way I learned it back as a teenager in Rochester, Minnesota was to sit in my ham radio shack, the venerable fallout shelter known as the lab, and listen to it on various radios that I had as the years went by. And I had a spiral notebook, eight by 10 inches, wide ruled, marginal. They, they, they have narrow ruled and wide ruled. If you use narrow ruled, you should copy on every other line. If you use wide ruled, copy on every line. I copied the code by printing using a nice ballpoint pen that wrote very easily without a lot of hassle. You can use a pencil, but I prefer a roller point pen. Now they've got these uh, easy roller pens that are great if, they're, uh, if their ink is waterproof and if it won't smear on you. But in any case, don't worry about the pen and the ink, the writing instrument, uh, but a, a, a spiral notebook uh, with ruled paper or just plain ruled sheets of paper, and then copy the code as it comes at you. Write it down. Uh, you, can, you can capitalize the first letters of sentences if you want, but that just makes it a little harder. Be sure you get the periods and the commas, and once in a while you'll even hear a semicolon or parenthesis, but I don't think W1AW's code practice sessions have very many of those. Mainly it's just plain text, starting at five, and the way they used to do it when I worked there, and I don't know about it anymore, five, seven and a half, ten, thirteen, and fifteen words a minute were the slow 
code practice sessions. And then I believe 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35 words a minute or something like that are the so-called fast code practice sessions. The schedules are published in QST magazine and you can log on to www.arrl.org. That's Alpha Romeo, Romeo Lima dot O-R-G. And they should have the W1AW schedule published there. You're lucky if you live in a, well, you know, they send on all these different bands, all these different frequencies. But I would spend, I would just make a habit out of spending hours and hours and hours just copying the code as opposed to trying to read it in your head or learn it as another language or listen to it and understand it without writing it down. Write it down. Copy the code endlessly for hours and hours and hours. Make it a daily habit as long as weather will allow and conditions will allow. Do it for days, weeks, months, and years until it becomes something you enjoy. If you hate the code, if you just can't stand it, forget about it. Leave it alone. Eat a hamburger or something that you like. Or operate phone. Phone is a perfectly good mode. There are plenty of others nowadays, too, digital modes that are just totally cool, in my opinion. But nothing is as cool as plain old code. The Morse code. The Continental Code, as they call it. Practice, practice, practice. Copy, copy, copy. Hour after hour after hour. Day after day after day. Week after week after week. Month after month after month. Year after year after year. And someday you'll find that you can listen to the code and it's just like somebody talking to you. You might even be so lucky as to have dreams in your sleep in Morse code. It's happened to me. I don't know. That's my advice. You can take it or leave it. Stangibilisco W1GV saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, which is the Morse code, of course, always translates to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.